Okay, so hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra and you're watching KP Cam. <laughs> Okay, so today I'm coming to y'all with the skincare routine. Um, obviously, I do not have clear skin. Like, this is my skin. This isn't the best lighting, so hopefully y'all can see. I have a under the skin pimple right here on my cheek. You probably see it's kind of like hanging down. I have something coming up right here. I have a scar right here. I have two nasty looking scars right here. I have a scar right there. And then my forehead is just kind of a little darker around my upper hairline thing. And y'all, I've been getting acne in my hairline. Like, what the heck? And all over here. But whatever. Okay, so. Um, a little background about me is I used to have really, really bad cystic acne in high school. Um, I really, really think that it was partially hormonal and I really think that I still have that. Um, but I wanted to do a skincare routine just because I don't have the cystic acne anymore. Yes, I do have scars, but my acne is nowhere near as bad as it used to be like right now i just have scars and like dark marks i really don't have like actual acne and pimples and stuff like that i also have eczema on my skin but that that could be like a whole nother video um i do go to the dermatologist and that really helped me out um with clearing my skin and i don't want to be redundant but everybody knows that if you drink water and eat healthy you know that also accounts for some things I also took biotin vitamins at one point. I don't know if that helped my skin. It did help my hair, but I don't know if it helped my skin. Maybe I'll do another trial run for it. I do have some more that I can take for like a couple months. So maybe I'll come back and do that. Comment down below if y'all want to see that. Um, yeah, I am on birth control pills. So I really feel, I really truly, truly feel like that really helps with my acne um because anytime like i have an off week where i don't take the pills and i always have a flare-up so i know for a fact that that helps out with my acne so i don't i don't know what you need to do honey ask your mom whatever you need to do but <laughs> uh yeah i'm just letting you know what helped me and i'm gonna go in detail with the products that i use and in the morning i use this shea moisture raw shea butter facial wash and scrub with frankincense and myrrh i did not know it had frankincense and myrrh in it and it's an anti-aging and hydrating and rejuvenating and it has like details about it hope y'all can see that a lot of people don't like say most anymore but i bought this a long time ago and i stopped using it and since i i used to use the um oil free cetaphil um like foaming soap um i really like that too but i stopped i ran out so i started using this you know just trying to use products you really only need like a um like a little a, a little small little face cleaner like nothing nothing crazy just something to wash your face i'm really not really into um because of the products that i use on my face i don't like to use strong stuff because your face starts to feel raw so yeah this is just like a little cleanser i feel like it's like a moisturizing cleanser and yeah i'm almost out of this so i am going to go back to the cetaphil so after i finish washing my face let that dry i use sea breeze on my face it's says it's supposed to be a extringent that's how you say it extringent yeah i use that it's basically alcohol people can say what they want about it about products like this like witch hazel and different stuff like that like it's basically alcohol like the second ingredient on it is alcohol and that might sound bad but it really like you know strips all like the moisture and excess dirt off of your face that you can't really get when you clean your face i mean some people use like a spin brush to like help with that but i have one but i just don't use it maybe we'll come back on an updated skincare routine where i do different things with my face to see you know how it's helping and stuff um yeah so i use this after so 
Then from the dermatologist, from the dermatologist, they subscribe. Um, this is clindamycin, clindamycin phosphate and benzyl peroxide. Um, the benzyl peroxide probably sounds more familiar, but this is a combination gel. And basically, y'all, it just fights acne, okay? It, it, it fights your acne. You, you can find benzyl peroxide um, in store. So you don't have to go to a dermatologist to get something like this, but it basically just cures your acne, okay? That's basically what it is, nothing great. Um, and they said to use a moisturizer after using it. So I combine it with this vitamin E oil. It's just fresh vitamin E oil, nothing crazy. Um, I started using this, like about this whole skincare routine. I really start like really going in like gun ho like in the past six months or so. Like I've really been going in with it, like consistent. I think that was like my new year's type of thing, like really work on my skin. Use vitamin E oil as something like a natural type of thing. I used to use lotion, but you know, it just feels a little cakey on my skin. So I use vitamin E oil, it does leave like a little shine, but after the day goes by, it's nothing crazy. So I really like that. I'm right. And then at night, I go in with the St. Ives Blackhead Clearing. Why doesn't it say clear? Like all of this, this description words. Okay, blackhead clearing, and it's it's green tea scrub, clears blackheads, and calms redness. It's oil-free salicylic acid, no, salicylic acne medication, 100% natural exfoliant, sulfate-free, and paraben-free. I don't care about none of that stuff. I just like this because it is a scrub. Now, let me just say this because I don't know if anybody else uses this product but it isn't a scrub anymore i don't know if i had it in the heat too long or something when traveling but it isn't like a scrub like it's really pasty it's not really like a really big scrub this either this isn't really a scrub like you'll see in the video that it just has like little micro beads in it but it really isn't a scrub like i want the thing to scratch my skin up really exfoliate but this ain't it but i all oh, this is just like this product where i bought it a while ago i stopped using it and i needed to use it so i started using this yeah because at first y'all y'all have to wash your face at night like my dermatologist recommends me to wash my face at night but i just it's a it's a chore like at the end of the day i don't have time to be doing all that but y'all it really 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 makes a difference so that's why i use, started using this you can use any little cleanser at night but i do recommend something that has like acne medication in it you know what i mean like one of those acne cleansers just to like push push the you know trying to get rid of your acne Okay, I use that and then I go in with another prescribed cream. Now this right here, y'all, I don't know how you can get this over the counter. Like this is like, I'm pretty sure for sure you have to get this from a dermatologist. Even though, I don't know, I just haven't seen it. I haven't seen this. So this is Tazarotin. I thought I could have sworn this thing said Tazarac, but I just never read it. Yeah, it says for dermatological use only. Wow, y'all need y'all need to start reading our products because I don't read my products. Wow. Okay, but yeah, this is what I use at night. I'm pretty sure this like heals your skin and like dries out pimples and. I don't know, y'all. I really that's not working. I don't know, but I use this, okay, y'all? This is what my dermatologist told me to use, so I use this every night after I wash my face. So, yeah, that's my whole skin routine. It's nothing crazy. Um, I am going to try to actually work on getting rid of my dark marks. Um, my dermatologist didn't just subscribe, nothing for that. I thought she would when I went, but she didn't. Um, I'll put down in the description who I go to. So if you live in the Richmond area, you can go to her as well. But yeah, y'all. If y'all want to know any details about my skin or if, if I have any similar symptoms like you do, please comment it down below. 
if you need any advice that maybe i can help you comment down below like any questions so yeah well i hope i cover everything that i needed to cover in this video hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoy making it please give it a, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you're not subscribed to my channel honey i don't know what you're doing but i know you want to see more of me i could hook you up honey i could hook you up okay but yeah if you want to see any specific videos please comment them down below follow me on all my social media because i only post once a week on this thing child but i post on everything else just about every day so follow me on all my social media um and i probably will come back with another skincare video probably in the next couple of months because i want to try some new stuff because as y'all can see all my products are getting down to nothing so yeah so i will see you guys in the next video do sit